table what we've been doing here in the last week or so. Our old sawmill power unit went down and I decided to rebuild it. And that's what we're into right now. It's a six cylinder. They call this a 671 Detroit. And it's a, actually a two cycle engine, like a chainsaw or something. And here's the liner. And you can see right there, it's got holes in it. And uh, as the piston goes down, it fires and goes down. And when it passes this hole, this is under air pressure. It's got a blower on it. And when it passes them holes, that air pressure enters that and it blows the exhaust out the exhaust valves. And then it'll come back up and fire again. It fires every time it comes up. And uh, these is the pistons. And you can see they've got rings on the bottom of the skirt and on top too. They really don't even have a skirt. It's just a big old piston. And they've got plugs right here so air can't, when that's coming down, if that plug went in there, it, it, would, it won't work right. I had one of them come off one time and it was, it smoked to high heaven. And uh, we're going to put new pistons in it. The old motor wasn't in bad shape. I don't know if you can see the rod burns. They're not wore hardly any. I marked them and they might be wore a thousandth, maybe two, but I'm going to put new ones in it. Here's the head, and then you really can't tell a whole lot about it, but them valves, them's just exhaust valves, that's only the valves it's got, it's exhaust, and uh, it's a neat old engine, they, they ain't made them in years, and it's getting really hard to find parts for them, but back in the 60s and 70s, they was a really, really popular engine, a lot of equipment had them. Had, it, had these engines in them. A lot of trucks had it. I had a GMC Brigadier log truck and it had a 671 Detroit in it. And the reason they call them 671s, each piston has got 71 cubic inch displacement. So it's a six cylinder with 71 per hole, basically. And they made different versions of them. They made a V8, it's called a 318. And they even made a V12. And uh, it, it would run pretty good up and down the road. These old, these old 671s didn't have much power. You just had to go a changing gear. And had very little torque. I imagine because there's a two cycle engine, the torque just wasn't there. You had to keep them revved out of their mind all the time. And here is a little tool I made and it's it's spring loaded there there's a spring in there and you just set this down in here down in the liner run the piston all the way down and set that down in the liner and then loosen that screw and let it pop into these holes here and then when you turn the motor and raise the piston up it'll just bring that liner up out of there Works real good. I started filming me making it and I was afraid the thing wouldn't work, so I didn't. But I should have. For, we made it here on this turning lay. Turned it out on it. And then this little milling machine here, I'll keep it covered up. But it, uh, there you can kind of see. It, it's little, but it does real good work. We. It took me a long time to do it because I'm really slow at stuff like this. But that, that was just old rusty piece of metal here last week. And I milled that down flat, and turned it and bored it. And it works real good. It, it pushed them liners out of there, no problem at all. And I was really worried about getting them out. I didn't, didn't know how to I got to looking on the internet and it showed how to do that and I went ahead and done it. And I'll try to film a little bit of it going back together. It, it's a real confined area down there where this thing's at. And uh, it's hard to do much filming and working on it at the same time. But 
when I get get everything back I'll I'll at least show you how to load the pistons for people that know uh, you, you can't use a ring squeezer on these motors because it, it, it's a far from here to here you can't squeeze them all at one time and and the rings for these motors is really they're just glass hard and uh, we'll have to use a jug but I'll I'll, I'll show y'all how to do that it it's just an interesting old motor and I like to never found parts for it finally got them in Louisiana I, th I think still a, a lot of them is still used in boats <laughs> 